Hello there, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4. The room. Spooky, I know. Right, we're going to jump straight back into this. We were in the water prison world in the last one. We were turning the entire building, or at least what seemed like the entire building around. Uh, we're going to go straight back there and figure out, just before we left off yesterday, uh, or last time, not yesterday, um, we bumped into a younger Walter Sullivan. Again, it's the second time we've met him, but we also met the prisoner. Uh, I His name eludes me, though. Um... But uh, we either need to drop down the holes again to get to a kitchen location. Um, or there's more to explore in the basement. I can't actually remember what the situation is. Um, that door is locked. Did we have a key? I can't remember if we picked up a key. Shower room. There's two horrible things in there. Uh, we did align all the holes as far as I'm aware. I still don't know what the blue ones are. Right, let's, let's, let's check that door first of all. I mean, we've got to have an objective in mind. And this is mine. Right, okay. So, ladder down. I am pretty sure it was this door. Hello? Oh, yes, I forgot there was gross creatures in here now. Yeah, so it's locked from the other side. And I don't really understand how that works entirely. Uh, I'm going to go to the third floor then, in that case, and check if the holes line up. Because we've lined all the holes up so the uh, bed's all matched. But that's the only information I've got to go by. Uh, I forgot how gross it is everywhere here. Right, what's the easiest way to do this? I think it might be outside. Right, and hopefully this is... Yes, this is the one that leads outside. <laughs> right, let's climb. And again. Right, so this should be second floor. We go up one. Is that or is that not the third floor? Let me just check. Yeah, so this should be the final floor. There was a, there was a door here, wasn't there? Yeah, that we couldn't do anything with. Right, okay, we still can't. And then there was that large door downstairs as well. Right, so we go down by one. Should I go down? I don't know where the hole <laughs> is. Right, okay. We've got to watch out for them big creatures. Right. Oh, I've ran past the door there. Hopefully it's this one. It is not. And there is something on the table there. We can take this guy down just for a second. And we can maybe pick up that item, whatever it is. Listen, man. Wall demon. Okay, he's down. What is this? Bullets? Nice. I will take. Very handy. There's graffiti here. It still looks like a kid's writing. It's not going to change, is it? I want to hide. But I can't hide. Okay. Um. Okay, then. Alright, so where is the hole, then? Alright, so if we think of it this way... I'm going to have to run round... And see if that darker spot is the hole. If we think of it this way, the shower room was on the bottom left to the door. Uh, and the kitchen, or what it describes as the kitchen, would be on the bottom right. So I have a feeling that even though we've done it so all the beds line up, it's not how it wants it to be, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we've checked that room out. Uh, I could check this one. Let's just check it quickly. Oh, there is a hole here. Okay. This changes... Oh, because we hadn't explored these rooms. Interesting. Confusing, but interesting. Right, okay. So we could try jumping down here. Let's give it a go. This is a confusing area. Like, for sure, one of the most confusing parts that... What is this? Note. It's a diary. See, this room doesn't line up. Uh... I've been watching the surveillance room's peephole the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can't... I can tell, because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. What are you talking about? That is something I'm currently wondering. Right, so the rooms aren't lined up well enough. This is gross down here. Pipes open. Lock's broken. 
Lock's broken again. Okay, this room doesn't like to be open at all. This is open, though. Right, okay. What do you have for me? This is the room we peeped on a little while ago. What is this? Oh, missed that. There's something written on the paper. It still looks like a kid's writing. I peed in my pants. I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think somebody saw me. Okay. So, it was a prison for kids, this, then? It's a, it's a little bit confusing, but uh, I think that's the case. Oh, dear. What are you all doing here? Of course it's locked. I'm hearing a heartbeat, and I don't know why. It kind of worries me. What is all this? The bottle's filled with black powder. Okay. Creatures on the walls. You know, the usual, really. There is definitely some kind of heartbeat going on here. Okay, so that's the one we landed in. I'm leaving. That heartbeat, I don't like it. Um... <laughs> Right, okay, so, what's the deal here? We're going to have to go back down to that centre room. And we're going to have to move some stuff around again. I thought I had it, but clearly not. So we're going to have to try and figure this out. One turn. Right, okay. So luckily, this, this is fairly easy to remember because of the layout, but it is also confusing at the same time. Right, let's go down. Let's go into that centrepiece, and then we will adjust accordingly. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and aim everything so it's over that right hand. You see what I mean? The bottom right of the map. I'm just climbing up here. Just leave me alone a second. I know not whether or not that is what I am supposed to do, but that is what I am going to do. Right, so that should be not there, but here, I believe. No. It would be here. So this is the bottom floor that currently the bottom floor can't be moved though, right? That's that's clearly what it was saying. So this is why it's confusing me. Um Right, okay. So there's a hole there. This could technically be over the same section. That wasn't marked off before. Maybe we didn't look into that room like fools. Um, it could be there. It did say bloody bed, though. And this has no bloody bed. You know? Right, okay. This is incredibly hard. Right, okay. See, so that's that's technically lined up there. This also has no bloody bed, though. So that is second floor now. Uh, right, okay. Let's pretend we know what we're doing for a second. Right, go up. And then we check that one yet again. So this one has no hole. This is the one with the wall guys currently. So if we turn it to the left... I don't know whether it turns it based on where the entrance is or not. Right, okay, so we'll turn it to the left and then see what happens. And then if not, then we'll turn it to the right. Twice. Right. Ah, this has changed. Um, or has it? It was this one, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so that technically should lead down. I have a bad feeling that I am doing this incorrectly. Right, we'll just go down and we'll try it. So that's third floor, again. Um, go down. All I want to do is get to behind this locked door. <laughs> so I feel like that's where we're supposed to go. The only place left to explore, apart from those two weird doors that I talked about earlier. 
that's down. This one should be up. I don't like the noise of them wall, guys. It always freaks me out a little bit. Right, okay, so now we have to go all the way back up to the third floor. All this running around. Water prison? Not my friend. Okay, and then up one more. And then in here. And then it should be the second room. I've got to remember that these horrible demon things are in this way. You know, the ones that were pointing at me? Yeah, so it should be the one, not the first, but the second. So here. A hole. Right, now we jump in. And then realise we've made a mistake yet again. <laughs> right, another hole. Seems plausible this time. Another hole. Please don't be any horror monsters here. We're somewhere different. Right, okay. Dining hall. I do believe we've made it. Right, okay. I like it. Right, okay. I don't like the noise, though, in, the, in this room. It, it's just those things, though, luckily. Oh, get out of my way. I'm going to squeech past. Squeech past. Let me through. Excuse me. Okay, there's more of these roots. There's not a whole lot down here, though. A plate. We've got another plate. Right, okay. We're going to need them at some point for something. We've got three of them so far, I believe. A uh, placard from the Ward's Prison World. It shows an eye and says watchfulness. Whatever that means. And then we've got a code lock. We did have a note about this. I have wrote it down. And it should be, unless this is incorrect, <laughs> 0302. Right, okay. It's dark and I can't see the buttons. Do we have to turn a light on here? Oh, crap. Now I understand, I think. The spotlight on, was something to do with something, wasn't it? So we've got a line. Oh, we're going to have to move to light this room up now. One second. Right, okay. So we're going to have to have all of the ones with the spotlight lined up over the kitchen. I see. So that's why you could unlock the door. This makes sense to me now. Right, okay. This wasting my time, though. I've got ghosts to interact with. And I find it hard to believe that you wouldn't be able to see a keypad, considering how they're usually set up. Okay, so we're going to have to go here yet again. And then this time, maybe the blood thing actually does make a difference. Right, so we need it on that top right, I believe. Right, okay. So this should be a hole. Yeah, so that is a bloody bed. Right, we need it above the bloody beds. Go up. And then top right should be this one. And this needs to be a hole. This is a hole. Wait a second. That's not correct. This needs to be a hole. So this needs to be turned. No, this is okay. Right, okay, so it's just the third floor that potentially needs moving. And that would be maybe this one. So yeah, this needs to be a bloody bed now. Um, And we have moved that. Here? Maybe? Yeah, so if we can move that to the left. To the left. And then we'll check that again. We will get out of here one day, I promise. Okay, that looks looks right. Hole. Wait a second. It was this one, I think. It wasn't? Right. <laughs> Um. So I've moved that the wrong way, so it needs to go right twice. All right, okay. This is hard to figure out. Genuinely. I do apologise if it's getting boring. <laughs> Me making mistakes.
Right, okay. So, in theory... I mean, I don't think that's right either, but... Right, there we go. Bloody bed. Spotlight's there. So that should be all the way down now. So if we go down and we go into the kitchen, it should be lit up. Um, but we will check it out and see. See for ourselves. I should have taken the hints from the notes, really, because it did say about the spotlights. Um, and it also mentioned... I don't know if it was in the same notes as the code one, but it was definitely there. Right, let me through. This is definitely brighter than it was a second ago. That's for sure. So maybe we've done the right thing there. Alright, so 0302, unless I've got this wrong as well. 0302. Beep. I like it. I like a good beep. It means we're doing something right. Saw blades. Don't like that very much. Henry? What's happening here? Why are you going so slow? Okay, I can see that coming a mile away. And there's miss number 18. Okay, he didn't last very long. We interacted with him a couple of times. Then again, I suppose he's been shouting from the prison cell the entire time. So, I knew he'd be the victim. It's always the only person that's alive with you, I guess. So. And we wake up. It looks like it's getting dark outside. This is different, though, I think. We're normally waking up facing towards the church, so this is odd. Compared to the normal, I mean. Okay. So that is it for Waterworld, I guess. Water Prison. I wonder if there's a connection between Silent Hill Church and the orphanage in the forest. Possibly. Any differences out here? It's definitely a um, changing time of day, that's for sure. Uh, that guy's having a good old dance down there. What of a floaty boat? <laughs> uh, right, okay. Let's get out of this room, I guess. Uh, we will chuck in a quick save. <clears throat> Just in case. Sounds like there's some water running in the bathroom. Even though I thought all the water was broken. There is a note. We'll do a save before we check anything, I think. Right, so now we know we're semi-safe. Um, I might chuck some stuff away into our box of... I'm going to have to check what this is. Oh, that isn't good. Was blood coming out of here? Blood. It's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water-filled room under the cylindrical prison. That is not the sound of a child anymore. The hole is massive now. My toothbrush is nearly on the floor. Okay. Now that that horrible shower noise is gone, let's check the rest of this place out. Hello? How's it going with room 302? Well, I uh, just tried to open it up, but it looks like something's uh, blocking it from the inside. It's not the first time. You mean the guy who lived here before? And it 
wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with his whole apartment. Don't say that. You're scaring me. Well, anyway, I just slipped a note under his door. about it too much there are uh, hmm. a lot of strange things in this world the umbilical cord I keep in a box in my room lately it's started to smell terrible huh umbilical cord oh well, I forget I said anything What's that all about? We've got another handprint. Right, okay. Peephole complete, I guess. We have multiple notes down here. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. It's stained with blood, and I can't read it. Okay. Superintendent's memo in your scrapbook. Is there any way of us uh, making that readable? Because it's a bit bizarre otherwise. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghosts. It saved my life. I was stuck into the huge... Oh, it was stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry. But somehow it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energised. If you don't reduce their power, uh, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. July 23rd. Sword. Interesting. Yes, it's going straight to my diary. Can we look at our shoes again? It does have a different note occasionally. My shoes. Come to think of it, when and where did I buy these shoes? Who knows? Who knows, my friend? Right, is there anything else to check? We've got to check it on our creepy peepee. I mean, she's still in the hallway, technically. Okay, cool. I'm just waiting for the moment that uh, Robbie the Rabbit's turned around. Okay. I'm guessing there's nothing in the kitchen. There hasn't been at all so far. Uh, do we have anything to say about the TV? Because the last time we were here, just like I thought, the power's blown. So how was the TV on in the first place? Nothing new there. Right, okay. Have a peep out of this window, just in case. Nothing. Doing a bit of people watching. Guy asleep on the f floor, maybe, there. Yeah, totally nothing new. Right, okay. Interesting. Right, okay, so I guess it's just a car magazine and a remote, stuff like that. Nothing happens when I press the remote control. I guess we are going back through the hole in the wall? It's literally our only option, I think. Though this is disturbing. The water isn't running in the toilet either. Right, okay, are we ready? Not really. The hole's even bigger now. There's lots of noise coming from inside the hole. Will you go in? I guess. Oh. Now it's extra curvy. Okay. Where are we now? I see a hole straight away. Interesting. This doesn't sound good. Henry, there's no time for sleeping, my friend. 
Sounds like someone's kind of watching us a little bit. Which I'm not too fond of. Just saying. Right, so we can't immediately get back, I think. Um, not that we need to right now. But I suppose knowing it's here is a good thing. Right, okay. Long hallway. The run begins. I am guessing there's going to be ghosts here. I feel like I just saw something on the floor then as I was running. It, I think it was my pipe, though, in my hand. Hello. Where are we? B1. Right, okay. It sounds like someone's shooting. What's a car doing here? Does that not sound like someone's shooting something? Locked. Okay. Hi. What are you? What are you? What kind of monkey demon. Somebody's definitely getting hit over there. Oh my god. Ouch. Damn it. How? Where the hell am I? That's our neighbor. <sighs> You're a real person. Hey. You're the guy that lives across from me. Yeah. My name's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree from 207. What the hell's happened to us? That hole in this freaky world. But if you're here too, then there must be something wrong with the whole apartment building. Yeah. That must explain what happened to that other guy too. What other guy? Guy who lived in 302 before you. A journalist. He disappeared one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Hmm. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Watch out for that kid. Huh. He didn't want to know. He didn't want to know. Oh my god! Don't make me hurt you! Ooh! Right in the nuts. It's uh, painful. Painful way to go. Right, okay. I need to process, but everything's attacking me at once. Right, okay, so Richard said there was a journalist that lived in our apartment. The guy who burned to death said something about a nosy guy, so I'm putting a connection together there. Journalist, nosy guy. Also, we keep getting left notes from a potential previous occupant of our apartment. And also, when we woke up in the very start of the game, we weren't Henry by the looks of things. So I'm guessing we were looking through the eyes of the previous occupant, potentially. Ow. Now get out of here. I just need to clear this way because then I can get through if I need to run away. <laughs> Sounds like Richard's having the time of his life through there with his pistol. His revolver. So where are we exactly? We get, oh my god, the hotel from across the street potentially. I've never seen this sign before, but even so, where am I? I think we have seen it, but back to front. Um, Alright, we're going to have to check this out for sure. It's not like Richard's getting done in. 
Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Gurgly. Party? There's a sword on the floor. I want to say that's potentially a ghost. Is it worth taking it? Or not? The books on this bookshelf, nothing looks particularly interesting. Okay. Alright, gurgly, chill out. Um, I want to just quickly check that floor, uh, the door on the second floor there. Because we didn't check it running down to Richard, assuming that he was going to die. Uh, lock is broken. Right, okay. What a waste What a waste of my time. Okay, so there is a locked door there. Does it say it's broken? Yeah, it's broken. Uh, and then them two are locked, clearly. So we've got a, a door to go through there. Interesting. Okay, I don't like the noises in this place. Did we say anything about this car? What's the car doing here? We've already had that info. Right, okay, we're gonna stop in the room with Gurgly Man then. I'm not running all the way back to get through the hole just to find a save, but we did just recently save it after all. So I'm gonna stop here. And then we'll figure out what to do with that potential sword in this crazy looking dude later. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, like and subscribe. Think about clicking that bell icon if you want future updates like this one to come straight to you. Thanks again. Bye for now.